Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to the channel. You know, I was thinking back about the old days and growing up and the holidays, because the holidays are coming on. And I was thinking about what we always had was a cheese ball. Just every time there was a holiday gathering while you're waiting for the food to be prepared, everybody would be digging in the cheese ball. Man, those always hit the spot. So now when I'm thinking about holidays, I'm always thinking about making a cheese ball. And I think it's time to do a video on it. Let's jump right into it. This is super easy. You can't beat it. And I've seen other videos on cheese balls, but they're missing the secret ingredient. Check it out. Okay, so the ingredients are pretty simple. You need some cream cheese. I go with some cheddar cheese, some Worcestershire sauce, a green onion, some bacon bits because my kids are allergic to nuts so I can't have nuts on the outside of it so I do bacon bits which are yummy. So what I do is I heat my cream cheese, I heat my cheddar just a little bit, maybe a minute, minute and a half, something like that, just to soften it up so you can combine it a little bit easier. It still takes some effort though. Okay, so we want a little bit of green onion, not too much. You can do a little bit of the green, then come down do a little bit of the white. And I chop it up pretty fine because you don't want to have big hunks in your cheese, really. So, something like this. It takes a second. Okay, so that's, I heated the cheese, both kinds, a little bit. And that will combine together all right. Here I'm going to give it a couple of squirts of uh, Worcestershire to start. And a lot of this is to your taste, so. Let's get to mixing. Okay, so when you start getting kind of like a, a, a nice orangey color, and I don't know if my camera is going to get it with the lighting. It's probably going to look lighter than it is, but so that's a start right there. Let's give a little bit more of the Worcestershire, if you like that flavor, which I do. Now this is the secret ingredient everybody's lacking. So here is the secret ingredient. You gotta have a little horseradish, or at least in my cheese ball. I want one that has a little bit of a kick to it, you know, a little bit of a zip, a little bit of a zing. So we'll just put in a teaspoon or two. Now that is a proper looking color and cheese ball right there. Okay, so what I do is I take a sleeve of crackers, crumble them up in the crumbs, because like I say, my kids can't have the nuts on the outside, so between the um, bacon bits and the uh, crackers, it kind of resembles a traditional cheese ball with the uh, pecans or whatever nuts you choose to use. But, you know, it's totally safe. So it's just one of those things you got to work around, so to speak. I think it makes kind of a, a decent looking, you know. So it plates up all right. You can, uh, you know, layer some crackers around it, kind of artistically take your time. You get the point. But let's see. The, the proof is in the pudding, so let's see how this does. Let's just take a little bit here. See, I like it that it's soft, that you don't just like bust your cracker trying to get it. Hmm. It's a hit every time. So, you can't miss. Easy, quick and easy. My two favorite things. Let me know if you try it out. Till next time. We'll see us. I can't stop. Mm.